Player of the month is better than player of the week, right? Probably. <laughs> um, both would have been nice, but you know, it's a good consolation, I guess. Just how, how did it feel to get recognized for, for that? I mean, it feels good. I think it's, you know, I was talking to guys in our room. It's a collective award. It's not just what I do, it's what our whole punt team does, both special teams. Um, back in college, James Franken always told us that, you know, with team success comes individual recognition, and that's kind of what this is. So, um, just really thankful to have the best two gunners in the league, best snapper in the league great pump protection, great coverage. That's really what this is, so it feels good, but for everybody. Nice to have like back-to-back -back games kicking in a controlled environment, not having to worry <laughs> about wind and rain and all that stuff. Yeah, playing in New Orleans is great, um, especially in front of our fan base. I told um, our new kicker, Brian, before last game that it was going to be crazy, but that wasn't even the start of it. It was unbelievable atmosphere last weekend, and hope hopefully have it this weekend also. Um, but yeah, we, I think we started five or six games outside, yeah. which is not exactly how I, I envisioned it going. But, um, you know, it kind of worked out. I played outside all in college. Right. It, it, and mo most teams play outside, so um, I just happened to get lucky and play eight games inside every year. So. And, you're, and you're out here <laughs> sleepless in this weather. We're all talking about like how cold it is. Hey, no, this isn't anything. It's nothing. <laughs> yeah. If I could ask you, you mentioned his name. Uh, Speculation is, you know, about James Franklin, other schools, potentially even LSU. Just for maybe people here that don't know him, why is he, or well, in your opinion, a good coach or a great coach? Listen, he, from the time he recruited me, he, he got to know my family really, really well. And he still connects to my parents um, on a personal basis. My parents just went up there last weekend, he sat down and had a conversation with him. He texts my mom, still. He's just an unbelievable human being. Um, you know, he made my time up there unforgettable. Um, I was a two-time captain up there, had a lot of conversations with him about, you know, ins and outs of the program and stuff like that. But I think, you know, he's a great fit anywhere, in my opinion. And he just, he creates a family-like atmosphere that I was really looking for when I went to college. And, you know, I think that's successful really anywhere you go. How do you, how do you what's your kind of personal view on success? Like, you fit a lot of it early. Like, how, how do you try to, do you try to stay level? Like, that kind yeah, of there's no question. I mean, we still have 10 games left this season. So, um, just to wait for the helicopter to last year. That's a sad event. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, you know, success is sometimes rat poison. We talk about it all the time. Um, we played seven games in a 17 game regular season, and we're not even halfway done yet. So, um, there's a lot of football to be played. Um, a lot of games left, so it's just about being consistent and kind of, you know, trying to set the expectation high, but then meet that expectation, what's, and that's that's a big deal for me. What's what's kind of your process for being just so repeatable in your mechanics? It looks like it's very consistent. Just how much work do you put into that, and, and what is that work? So much work, and it's not even going out and punting a thousand balls. It's catching 500 snaps a week. It's doing drops and stuff like that. Um, I started training with. You know, a group from a young age that I've stick I've stuck with eight years now, and that's you know having repeatable um, mechanics kind of comes from repeatable training, and that's kind of what I feel like I've got. Um, I train with you know AJ Cole from the Raiders and Jack Fox from the Lions. Those guys are one and two in the league right now, um, and they just you know constantly push me to be better. I think that's a big deal. Do you go somewhere to is it like? Yeah, we we, we train out of uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Okay. So. Um, we've trained with, you know, Coach Mike McKay for a long time, and um, you know we go to we go work with Jamie Cole also. You know, guys like that that have been doing it a long time. It's really just bringing guys together that that I mean, there's only 32 of us yeah. at the end of the day, so it's a small fraternity, and we you know help each other out in the off season, and you see you know the fruits of that labor during the season. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you all.